Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to talk about how to be number one in Google. That's right, how to be number one in Google. My name is William. I'm going to give you my step-by-step -step process on how to be ranked number one in Google and how I do it for all of my clients. So number one, and most importantly, and we'll go through this, is in ranking number one in Google, Google SEO has always kind of been the same. Back in the day, it used to be you spam your way to death, thousands of backlinks, you're number one. The way I preach and what I teach most people is going to be content, 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 right? So when I'm looking to rank someone number one in Google, the very first thing I'm going to do is go, okay, how do we improve our website's SEO or on page? SEO and for that you know the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and tell you to go to is I have an audit sheet if you don't have the audit sheet make sure to ask for it and I will give it to you below okay the GMB audit sheet I go over everything from intaking what's your information what's your rank you know what's all these different on-page SEO factors you know your headers your h1 all the technical seo and go through that that's number that's the very first thing you need to look at your on page seo the problem is most people don't even have foundational seo done or what i call on page seo so that's your first step the second step on your technical on your on page on your content you need to start using what we call lsi keywords right Whenever I'm out trying to get content, and I say this over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, is let's say, how do you do metal roofing? Let's say roofing, spelling it wrong, roofing repair. And Google tells me exactly what people are looking for, what they're wanting to learn about. When I look at it, it says people are also asking, okay? They're literally telling me, for example, in here, there's some brands that they're associating with metal roofing or entities like Flex Seal, okay? How to stop leaks. And I take this information and then I write about that from there, okay? Um, you're going to want to match your content with, if you will, search intent. I also have inside of my GMB toolkit, I also have inside of here, I have, for example, um, keyword intent. When writing keyword, you know, it's basically who, what, when, where, why, those sort of keywords. And we're going to write the who, what, when, when, or why, you know, or who, what, when, where, why. Um, review us versus them those sort of keywords and we write that in our content all right so keyword content research that's going to be the next one uh, search intent keywords or phrases and then we're going to have to reduce our bounce rate how do we reduce our bounce rate we're always going to do a YouTube video upon that page. So, for example, if you want to see an example of this, let's go to sod installation. This is just one of them. Sod installation, St. Louis. Every single one of our pages have a video on it, even under services. Why we've optimized those videos, everything hyperlinks and everything is. If you've never went through my YouTube strategy, go through my YouTube strategy. Um, comment below and I'll give you all these spreadsheets we're going over but we do a YouTube video why because number one factor with YouTube is this view or if you will this YouTube video is two minutes if I can get someone to stay on my page for longer then I reduce bounce rate right bounce rate means essentially they came to your website and left and went somewhere else to another competitor okay see when we want to do that now, how do we find some keywords we can target or, if you will, target keywords? We can go over this. I love this tool. It's called LSI Graph. And let's say we go, um, you know, metal roof repair. 
um, and it's going to generate the LSI keywords or a graph for you to write your keywords. So that's one of the tools I like using. It's called LSI Graph, and it gives me the details of the keywords that we should be writing our content about. It also gives me as well other competitors top performing content. So I can essentially reverse engineer. Let's take this guy for example, and we open up him. He's one of the top people for this term metal roof repair and I can reverse engineer what he's doing based off of this tool the tool is called lsigraph.com okay the number one factor in everything I'm telling you is you need to publish high quality quality content not just a bunch of words on a page but high quality content I'm going to do another video in that video I'm going to show you now once we have this content we do the same strategy when we're writing for our blogs. So for our blogs, for example, when we did the search for, just for example, metal roofing, it's using keywords or brand entities such as Flex Seal. I can also go over to Wikidata or Wikipedia and go metal roofing, right? And it's going to tell me different things, metal roofing, or keywords that I should be using like if I go to material types and it tells me the different coating types copper aluminum copper alloys paraffin oils linseed all these different terms I should be using in my content because those terms or that information is also known and they tie or they associate with metal roofing and what we're trying to do is to get those things associated with our brand when we're writing our content. All right, you could also go metal roofing brands. And it gives you all these different, if you will, brands or companies that are dealing in metal roofing. And whenever we're writing our content, we can also use this information. We can also use this information when we're creating our backlinks to our content or other properties and use these for textual links going back to our properties or to our content or to our press releases. In another video, I'm going to show you exactly how I do a press release along with a blog and the YouTube stack as well. And then what keywords we're using if we're using naked URLs, exact match, or if we're using brand terms. I hope you've enjoyed this video and gotten something out of it and how to rank number one on Google. This is the steps we use every time to rank number one in Google and we'll rank people anywhere from five to 10 miles. If you don't know where you can find out about our services, just go over to rankfortress.com. That's right, rankfortress.com. And we have all of our services listed here. And we're glad to help you dominate the three pack of Google and get listed and get some leads coming in. Again, my name is William. Today's video, we went over how to rank number one on Google. If you don't have any of my tools or spreadsheets I mentioned in this video, make sure to comment below and I'll give them over to you. I appreciate it. You have a great day and be blessed.